Hi, I'm Sharon. This is story time. Just um, maybe you remember in one of our uh, recent blogs, I was kind of saying to Bert that I just for the summer I just wanted to read horror books, and I was going to call it like a slasher summer. Um, and I have been kind of in lockdown, kind of getting a little bit more into horror books, so I'm quite new to it all. Uh, I read, I think I was saying before, I read like quite a bit of horror when I was a teenager and I haven't read any, read any for years so I'm kind of finding my way through the kind of horror genre. Anyway, I mentioned that I wanted to read horror in the summer and then Alicia from Alicia Reads, um, she said, have you seen the readathon, Spooky Smart Bitch readathon, which is a horror readathon that runs throughout August? And I hadn't, so thank you so much for Alicia for pointing it out and now I'm going to do it. So this is my TBR for the Spooky Smart Bitch readathon. The wow. readathon is um, run by Jordaline from Jordaline Reads and Kat from Biblio Obscura. And there's just like five prompts, um, so kind of easy enough to do. One of them is a group read as well. So and there's also I think there's going to be a live show at some. Uh, there's been one live show. And there's going to be another live show later on. I will link it all anyway, so you can join in. It's plenty of time, even though it's first of August today. So the first prompt is to read a translated horror book, and um, that was the one that I kind of I don't know. I couldn't find one that I was super interested in, uh, partly as well, of course, because I was saying that I'm only new to kind of looking for horror books. Um, the group book is translated, so I was thinking of doing that, and then last minute I've ordered one, um, and it hasn't arrived yet. So that one is I Remember You by Ursa Sigdotter, Sigdotter, which is nice, who's an Icelandic writer, and it's an Icelandic ghost story, which looks pretty good. Um, I really like uh, Scandinavian literature anyway, and Ursa Sigurdottir is um, uh, better known for, as a crime writer. She's actually called the Queen of Icelandic Crime. Um, I don't think I know her work, although Bert knew the name. I don't read crime either, but I am kind of interested in reading uh, Scandinavian crime, so maybe that will be my next uh, avenue. Anyway, that's the one I've got for translated. It looks good. It looks like it's quite snowy. Um, and I think there's like an old house doing a house maybe. I'm not sure, but I will I will let you know as we go along. The next one is to read a horror novel that is written by a black indigenous, black or indigenous or person of colour. And I have gone for The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones, who's um, a native writer in America and he's part of the Blackfeet tribe. I have just watched a video, a, a review of this from by Thunder Good Woman Reads, which I'll link because that was really good. And I know that lots of people have been reading it and there's been lots of buzz about it. He's written quite a few other kind of horror books that I'm super interested in well, as well. So if I like this one, I'll um, get his other ones. But they're not listed. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like the look of his other ones too. I think there's one called something like Final Girls, maybe? Anyway, this is a book about... Um, Four men who go on some kind of elk hunt. Um, it says it's a fateful elk hunt, and then they have to. Ten years later, they have to face a ferocious spirit that is coming for them. So, yes, and it's got just a beautiful cover as well. So I am excited to read Stephen Gray, Stephen Graham Jones. The next prompt is to read a vintage horror novel, and it had to be written between 70s and 90s. So I just, uh, Bert had a few, and I've chosen one of Bert's ones, which is Black Prism by David Lippincott. Look at that. And this is from 1980. It says, enter a world of terror and suspense with the shadows of evil, sadism and insanity struggle for possession. And I thought I'd read you the back of this because it sounds uh, pretty good. And it says that uh, Chad Leffert, which is a great name, a budding young physicist responsible for some startling theories on black holes, um, has just accepted a prestigious post at Yale. The Lefferts move happily into their new home, a turreted Gothic mansion, but suddenly Chad starts having horrific dreams, nightmares so vivid that he begins to dread sleeping. What is the mystery of the ancient walled garden hidden between the Le behind the Lefferts' house, and who is responsible for a series of gruesome murders in the suburbs of Yale? So I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, then read a horror novel written by a female author. And for that one, I've gone for The Unsuitable by Molly Pollig. Um, Molly Pollig is a, an Irish writer. Um, this has been, I don't know if this was like printed in America initially though, but this is blurred by Kristen Arnott, who's mostly dead things I love. Um, and... 
yeah, it's like a, a gothic novel. So it's a Victorian novel with a kind of gothic ghost story as well. Uh, my favourite thing about this, though, it's also got lovely deckled edges. My favourite thing about this is that Molly Poleg, um, as well as writing this gothic ghost story, is also associate editor for Vogue Knitting magazine. So that's that. I don't, like, love hor um, historic novels, but I feel it's different if it's histor historic horror. So I like to start with a bit of a twist. So, yay. Next one is a horror book that's over 400 pages. And I have this one, which is just over 400 pages. It is 404. So this is when I've had for a little while, which I need to get around to reading, The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. Amazing cover, really gorgeous little library stamp there as well. This is the one that's kind of like a 90s um, vampire novel that's kind of Buffy Steel Magnolias type feel to it and it um, is set in the same town as my best friend's exorcism so I've heard really good things about it I'm sure it's going to be great and it gives me kind of a reason to read it this month as well and then the last one is the group book so the group book is The Graveyard Apartment by Mariko Koiki translated by Deborah Bolif Bolivar Boom, and this is translated from the Japanese um, and it's about a family that kind of move into this new apartment that they think is going to be amazing um, but it says that it harbors a specter of evil and the longer they stay the more trapped they become so it's like a married couple with a little daughter um, I think it looks like it's going to be really good it's kind of quite long because the font is quite small and it's like 324 pages so that's that one as well Really excited for this readathon. There are the books I've got so far, and then the other one that hasn't come yet, but has also done a uh, TBR, and he's put um, the picture of what he's going to be reading on Instagram, so you can go and have a look at that there. Link everything in the description. Would love to know if you're joining in and what kind of what books you're going to read. I'll update at some point. Bye.